Hi, it's uh, February 18th, it's President's Day, and fair warning, I have nothing interesting to say, so if you're having an idle day like me and doing nothing, then feel free to listen in, and if not, just uh, um, go do something else, watch cat videos or whatever. So I'm in Austin, Texas, and uh, as fate would have it, I uh, my flight was early, or rather... My flight was on time, and then the uh, the vendor that did our training um, at the last minute canceled. Well, they didn't cancel; they moved it back a day. And and uh, after telling my buddy that he should move his flight, and then I tried afterwards, and it was going to be fifteen hundred dollars to change the flight. And I could have done that, but it just seemed wasteful. Um, I told him that you know time with his family was worth you know more than five hundred bucks or whatever it was for him to change his flight. And, my work, time with my family is certainly worth more than $1,500, but sometimes it's just a pain to have to change things around. So here I am, I'm in Austin, and it is winter weather back home. So here I am hanging out on the t-shirt, and there's, you know, it's beautiful. And uh, I hang out in the park because there's nothing that draws me here. I spent the morning at the mall and thought to myself, you know, it's interesting that people go and go into the mall one and two at a time, maybe a family at a time, and what a what an amazing thing that we're hanging out there all together, and we're not hanging out there together. Like like thousands of people are meeting together in peace, but they don't they don't spend time with one another. You know, the highways here in Austin are are full of cars going back and forth. People are going place to place. Two, three, four people are in a, in a vehicle together, and they're going to each of their individual places. Right? Nobody nobody here. You know, that guy doesn't know that guy, doesn't know that guy, most likely. And so here I am joining the, the masses and realizing uh, how, what a small uh, part of the world I am. Um, and how fortunate, right? So, so I live in Montana, and in Montana, uh, we've, been looking for, we've been looking for places to live next to a creek or a lake or whatever. In Montana, you can go just about anywhere and there's water somewhere, right? Um, I go to Austin and they got water towers everywhere, probably because they, you know, they're having to uh, conserve water and store water for when it, you know, it's it's not um, when there's a drought or when there's not water around. So I'm hanging out here at the park and you can kind of tell um, back there. Let's see, but like like maybe like a riverbed like a creek bed or something and there's a tunnel that goes under the highway like there's water that belongs there but um you know there's no water and there's cacti over there prickly pears and all the other kinds of stuff and thinking just how fortunate i am to live where i live and then at the other hand on the other hand austin's a pretty rocking place i don't know if you've ever been to austin but like like i've been to places like uh I'm thinking San Francisco. I've heard of places like Los Angeles where it's even more crazy, but places like San Francisco where the uh, highway infrastructure doesn't doesn't support the people that are there and it's just insane to drive to place to place and those kinds of things. Austin has plenty of highway for everyone. Um, there's highways everywhere. There's frontage roads on each side of the highway and then there's highways that crisscross highways and there's there are belt loops that go around belt loops that go around belt loops and then you know if you got to get somewhere in Austin you, there's roads that get you there it's not congested at all and even though there's highways everywhere it doesn't feel like it you know when I was a kid uh, we went to Salt Lake and that was like the big city right and they had all of these highways that crisscrossed on top of each other and for that like three minutes that you were going underneath those highways, highways it was like scary hey I've got all these highways that are crisscrossing each other. So, um, you know, a lot of people that are that know me now are going to think, oh, "What a sheltered pansy you are," but which is true. Um, but here in Austin.